guys, it's Elizabeth with the Applique Diva, and today we're going to kind of go over how to open up or import an SVG or DXF file. As you can tell, I'm using Silhouette Studio version 4 software, and I know it's a little different than the other versions they've had before, but once you get to using this version, you're going to find out it's got so many great buttons and tools and things that the other software versions didn't do that you're going to fall in love with it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over how to open up an SVG file. So you're going to go up here to File, Open, and I've got it saved right here which is under Candy Corn Cutie. You can see if I click here you're going to notice that when you purchase a file from the Applique Diva, all of our SVG DXF files come in SVG, DXF, PNG, and JPEG. So the first thing we're going to open up is our Candy Corn Cutie SVG. Now, I have Designer Edition so I can open up an SVG file. If you don't have Designer Edition and you don't want to pay to upgrade it, it's okay. You can still purchase files off the internet. You just need to make sure that they come in DXF, which all of ours do come in that format. We're going to hit SVG, hit OK, and you see that we've got it pulled into our software now. Now, I can take this file now and I can either send it, I can pull what I don't want to cut off right now over and I'm going to cut just this part first. Now if I send this over to my silhouette, this is going to do absolutely nothing because I have to add cut lines when you have an SVG file. So how do we do that? We're going to hit click on the file or the part we want to cut and up here where it says send, we're going to click on that. And then it's going to say Material, Action, and Send to Silhouette. We're going to click on Action. And right up underneath here is we're going to use Cut. Now, what that does is add the red lines around it. So now I have cut file lines. So now this file is going to cut on my Silhouette software. Once I do that, I will select what material I want to use, which whether it's cardstock, HTV, most of the time we use either heat transfer vinyl or sticky vinyl or whatever. Pick out what you want to cut with, and then you're going to simply go over, adjust your settings, and send to your silhouette. So easy. Now, let's go back to the design window real quick, and let's look at what we want to do. Let's go ahead and start over again now for the DXS version. We'll close this out, and take this off because it gets kind of crowded up here. And now we're going to do a DXF. So let's say you don't have Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. All you have is the basic one that came with your machine, which is perfectly fine because there's another way we can import certain files too. So you want to go up here to File Type, or you see this file folder right here? You can also use this because with Silhouette software, you know it's got different places for different, you can basically get to the same way of getting to something with three different buttons on the screens. So hit Open. And this is our Candy Corn Cutie DXF, and I'm going to click on it, and it's going to pull it into our software too. It just looks a little bit different than it did when we used our SVG form format. It's all lines, no colors here, or colored lines, I should say. And it's loading. Do we have a hiccup with the Silhouette software program here? Hmm. Let's try it again. Nope. Oh goodness gracious, what do we do here? Ah, bingo. Ta-da! See? When you first don't succeed, try again. Okay, so now we've got our silhouette. Now we've got opened up our DXF format, which we can open up no matter what. But these are all separate little files. If you notice with DXF, there's no way for a designer to group these together. So you get a bunch of different little sections of everything, which is hard to kind of break apart and move around. But Silhouette with V4 has got this great little button right here, which is an art palette, where this would be select all, delete all. This is select by line color or fill color. So if you're doing an SVG, you would use fill color, but because we're doing DXF, we're going to use select by line color. And what this allows me to do is click on the black, and I can then click on, right click on the item, and hit group, and now all my black lines are together. And I can move them over here. Same thing with white right click, group, and now all my white parts are together. We'll do orange, and last but not least, yellow. Messed that up, didn't I? Okay, so now I can pull all this off, 
And if you can't see what you're working with and you really want to see it, you can go over here to your fill color. And you can always fill it in so you see what you're working with here. Okay? So if I want to, I can't see candy corn cutie right here, and I want to be able to see what I'm working with, I can do this. Okay, so let's, for purpose of time frame here and magic, I'm going to undo this, undo this. Now, and I'm going to take Candy Corn Cutie, because you can see it the best. Take it over here, and now we're back to where we were, and I'm going to hit to send. The best part about DXF is your cut lines are already there. DXF is actually a CAD format. It's a cut file. So it doesn't have the colors to import, but it does show your cut lines already. So there's no need to add cut lines, no nothing. All you have to do is select your material. And we're going to use heat transfer smooth for this. And then I would hit send, and I would send it to my silhouette. So if you got any questions at all, you have any concerns or anything else, let me know. Check me out on, you can send us a message at theapplicadiva.com. Otherwise, until next time, keep cutting, stitching, and crafting, girls.